In the world of gaming, the JRP genre is known for its epic stories, memorable characters, and traditionally its turn-based combat, but there's been a shift in the winds. A move towards action-oriented gameplay that might be leaving some fans behind. While action-based JRPGs can be thrilling and visually spectacular, this evolution is stirring up concerns about accessibility and inclusivity in the gaming community. Firstly, action-based games often require fast reflexes and precise timing, potentially alienating players with disabilities or those who prefer a more strategic, thoughtful pace. Turn-based games, by contrast, offer a chess-like experience where each move can be calculated with care. This not only levels the playing field for players of all abilities, but also upholds a tradition that has defined the genre for decades. Moreover, the shift to action has implications for the genre's appeal across age groups. Uh, older gamers who grew up with turn-based classics might feel sidelined by the industry's pursuit of the ever-elusive, broader appeal. This isn't just speculative. There's a vocal portion of the gaming community expressing their discontent online, feeling that the games they fell in love with are being transformed beyond recognition. Game developers face a tough balancing act. They need to innovate to attract new players and keep their franchises fresh. Yet, many fans believe that in doing so, the essence of what made JRPGs special is being diluted. Accessibility options for these action-style JRPGs have not only become the norm, they are the requirement. And yet, the option that developers have is to allow for people to play a turn-based style side of that same combat. That would alleviate the, the issue to appeal to the more tactical, strategic elements of the fan base. In conclusion, while the industry's push towards action-based gameplay and JRPGs might attract new audiences, it risks excluding a dedicated and passionate part of its fan base. The challenge for the developers moving forward will be to find ways to honor the genre's roots while still embracing innovation. My name is Plazukas, and I am an old school JRPG fan. And the new action style JRPGs have definitely alienated me. The need for auto battles in these action style games, the need for any kind of materials or items that essentially do the job for you, have taken the strategic elements away. And what remains is a diluted, less immersive product. Something that I miss greatly. And I want to tell the Japanese community that Americans still like turn-based. They still want turn-based games in that you might attract a million or more people to your game if you go action but ultimately you're never going to gain more than you lose if you continue this because there's no way that even the casuals won't eventually see what we what we saw when I was a kid and that appeal that uh, mystery that allure that level of importance or facing a battle that you just couldn't beat because it required you to have uh you know a different element um or or use an item to weaken it those elements are being lost and i don't care what population you are whether you're a more action oriented person or a more turn based person those kind of experiences define video games and if you get to a point where that is diluted and you're just allowing the game to play itself or you're just hacking and slashing pushing buttons I have to believe that at some point you'll lose everybody and I don't want that to happen my name is Plazukas if you like this content like subscribe I'll see you in my next video bye for now